So this is uh, my weekly check-in here with my uh, Angelina Inspired Diet Plan. So everything is going pretty well. Uh, yeah, I think you can see that uh, um, the I started the week at... Um, let me find it here real quick. Sorry. A little disorganized. I'm doing this with a voiceover, which I don't... This is probably the first time. So I started the week at uh, 212 8, weighing in on uh, September 10th. And I finished the week weighing in uh, on September 16th at 210.8. So that would be a uh, two pound drop. And my goal for the week was 212. So I was under that by 1.2 pounds. And my ultimate goal, f goal for this whole weight loss program was 210. So I'm in pretty good shape. And uh, everything's going along pretty well. Uh, just a quick rundown on the numbers here. So uh, Monday I waited, or excuse me, last Sunday I waited at 212.8. Uh, the next day was 211.6. Uh, the next day was 212. Uh, next day, point zero. Next day was 212.6. Next day was 210.6. I lost two pounds there, and there's a reason for that, but I, I won't get into it. Well, I suppose I could. Yeah, I worked out. I was working in the hot sun all day long, sweating, and I didn't drink enough, so I was uh, a little bit dehydrated, and I didn't also didn't get anything to eat that day. Uh, I mean, I had uh, my typical breakfast is a banana, orange juice, and some coffee, and I had that. And then the next meal I had was uh, later in the evening uh, when you're not supposed to eat. I don't remember what I ate that day, but it wasn't an awful lot. But, yeah, so that resulted in two pounds in uh, one day, basically. Then the next day I got in at uh, 210.4, so I even lost a little more. I don't have an explanation for that one. That was a little weird. I figured I'd go up a little bit because of uh, replacing the water. And then finally, 210.8 uh, 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 on Saturday. So I, I start the new week on Sunday, so... Um, I've weighed in uh, today, which is Sunday, and then I got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then uh, Thursday's my w Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then, uh, you know, that's that's it. That's the goal. So hopefully I can uh, just maintain this where I'm at now, drop down just a little bit more. So if my goal is 210, I'd like to get down into the 20 somethings, uh, 209 would be nice 205 would be better but i don't know if i can get that far down uh by friday but uh we'll see we'll see how it goes and uh but i'm happy with my progress and i hope that you guys that are watching and uh listening are, are uh, excited by it as much as i am uh so i have uh i have just put the what i did was i put down the marking board that i've been writing down the daily uh totals and you can see I've got uh, in each square I've got in the top left there's the the di di number of days I've been doing the diet, which is uh, we ended on 52 this week, and the 16 represents the day of the month of September that we are in. And at the top up here where you can't see it, it says the day, which is Saturday uh, here, and then Sunday's over here. So that's my little how I keep track. And then I only put the goal weekly goals down on uh, Saturday. Uh, you know, the t as a reference point, and then I record my actual weight underneath there. So I, I'm pretty pleased with the way everything's been going. Usually in uh, past year or past times when I was dieting, which is pretty much my whole life, uh, you know, periodically. Um, typically, you know, I'll, I'll lose a lot of weight at the beginning uh, once I cut out all the bad stuff. And then there's usually a, some plateaus, maybe even going, maybe even gain a little bit. And, uh, you know, then you get back on it and uh, start dropping again, uh, more slow, a slower pace, most like usually in the past. And, you know, there'll come a point along the way where, oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Oh, you get a little discouraged because, you, you know, you plateau for a long time or you even gain a little bit. Uh, those are the danger zones, man. Those are the days where, you, you know, you just can say, okay, I've had enough of this diet, and then you just go crazy. For me, it's always sweets, uh, anything sweet. I have two um, packages of cookies over there that I bought uh, when I started the diet plan. They're unopened, 
And uh, I use them for treats for the dogs too, but I haven't opened them. Um, I think I, I believe I have enough willpower to resist them, but the cookies are one of my downfalls. And I've been getting a fair amount of sugar from my natural, I've been eating grapes, uh, melon. Um, of course, I have the banana in the morning and the orange juice. So I'm getting some sugar, more of a natural sugar, not so much of a processed sugar. So, oh, I also use uh, French vanilla cream in my coffee too. So there's some sugar there. Now, I've been advised that uh, all the sugar is not good, period. And I, I know that. I also know me, uh, I crave it. So if I don't do something to uh, subdue that craving, then I'm just going to, eventually I'm just going to uh, go crazy and start eating sugar, sugar, sugar. That's my uh, habits from the past. 68 years of dieting almost all the time. So that would do it. Uh, thanks for watching and wish me luck. There's only a few days left. Uh, by the way, I'll be going to the concert on Friday, uh, November 22nd. And I'll be doing a, uh, there's a gathering of uh, Angelina fans at a uh, local pub. I think it's called the Portsmouth Gas Light Company or something like that. It's a local pub. And uh, that's been uh, uh, out for a while, so everybody knows about it. So that's good. So there should be quite a crowd there. And then uh, that's going to run from 2 to 5. And then after that's over, uh, I'm, we're going to be doing a uh, live stream uh, nearby. And... Uh, we're going to have a lot of fun at the live stream. So hopefully everybody can uh, that goes to the pub can just go right on over to the live stream uh, and catch what we're doing there. Uh, there's plenty of time before you get to the concert. They're all assigned seats, so there's no rush to get there because you're going to go, you know, nobody's going to be in your seat or take your, the best seats, right? You already got the best seats. So uh, the concert doesn't start till 8. Um so there's plenty of time to do uh, put in about an hour's worth of live streaming, give or take, and still have plenty of time to go to the concert. What I plan on doing possibly after the live stream is um, after we take down our equipment and do all the other stuff we got to do, is I'd like to go over. I plan on being at the pub from two to five, give or take a little bit. I because of the live stream, I got some stuff I got to do, other stuff I got to do, but I hope to be there the whole, almost the whole time to meet all you guys, okay, uh, guys and gals, and. Say hello. Be nice to put a face to everybody uh, they, that we t I talk to all the time in the comments section. And I, I feel like I know a lot of you because uh, we talk all the time. So uh, it'll be really nice to see you. Now, uh, <laughs> I did this kind of in a goofy way, but I I wanted to make sure that if anybody wanted to meet me and, and they wanted to find me, that I'm going to be wearing something that stands out a little bit. I'm going to be wearing a white shirt, white pants, and yellow shoes. And it's quite likely I'm going to have a white top hat with daisies on it to uh, kind of um, pay a little homage to uh, Angelina's EP with the daisies on the on the, uh, the cover of that. So um, if uh, the, the reason why I'm hesitant to say that I have this because right now I have a black top hat that I'm going to convert to a white top hat. We'll see how that goes. And uh, if that goes good enough, then I'm going to go ahead and plan on having maybe some daisies either around the top like a flower crown like Angelina used to wear when she was a, a youngin and um, or I may just uh, put them on there like you know if I have if I can find enough daisies I'll just plaster them on the whole hat maybe who knows uh, so that's it I should stand out in the crowd you should be able to find me pretty easy and I'll be roaming around maybe talking to everybody uh, you know as they're, we're getting ready to go into the concert so uh, hopefully I can meet y'all and greet y'all and talk to you and shake your hand, give you a hug maybe, and uh, basically just say hello. So that'll be uh, happening there. Uh, for those that are interested in the live stream stuff. So what happens with the live stream stuff is you can, anybody can come in while it's live streaming if they know about it and watch whatever, however long they want to watch. And once I hit the end live stream button, that goes right to my YouTube channel, uh, Steve Calloway One on YouTube, and uh, it posts up as a video under the live button. So you'll be able to go back and review it and take a look at it if it's something you want to see. And I hope that I can capture the energy, the enthusiasm, and the love of Angelina that uh, should be in the crowd. And I'm not sure if I'm going to do anything after the concert if I'm still alive. <laughs> uh, uh, 
sitting here in my uh, dining room doing videos, I, I get emotional and it, sometimes it's pretty intense. And just the, the live thing I hear is a whole different level of intensity and there's a certain energy. So I don't know exactly what that means. I can only imagine, but I'm going to be finding out on Friday. So uh, my pacemaker's been checked. It's all good. My blood pressure, I just went, it was a little low actually, which is not bad. Uh, it, wasn't, it was just a little. And it's better than having a high blood pressure, I guess. And uh, all of everything else, I've, uh, I've, things are going good. So uh, hopefully I'm in uh, good enough shape to withstand the, uh, uh, the excitement and the intensity of the moment. We'll see you all there. I'll quit talking now. And you guys have a good night. Thanks for chiming in and, uh, or stopping in. And I appreciate all you guys' love and support during this weight loss journey. Uh, everything went really well. And a lot of it has to do with you guys because uh, along with Angelina providing me the motivation to get ready to go to the concert and be in good shape. Along with that, uh, you know, you guys checking in on me and I think I got I received overwhelming uh, positive comments and I had a lot of people offer some great advice. Uh, some of the advice that I was offered, I may apply after this uh, diet quest is over. Uh, I may go ahead when I try to settle into a, a healthier eating habits uh, I may go ahead and apply some of those uh, great comments and great suggestions uh, to my daily life and try to stay away from those sugars and uh, make some better choices. It has not been hard to be on this diet because, and the reason it hasn't been hard is because I've been eating a lot of the natural sugar. I understand that's not the best thing in the world, but for me, uh, it's better that than uh, the processed sugar that I would be consuming if I wasn't consuming the natural sugar. So that is that. Thank you very much, everybody, and uh, we'll see you next time we get together, I guess. Uh, remember, love and kindness, always pass that along. Uh, it's easy to say, usually not that hard to do either. So that's a great message for everybody. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.